Hey guys, have you ever tried opening up uh, your phone using Face ID but you are wearing a mask and yep, it doesn't work. But I discovered a way that I can actually uh, unlock my iPhone or your uh, Android phone with a mask on but it's not the correct mask, it's this mask. Yeah, this is the 2011 Contagion uh, cosplay which I've just upgraded. Yes, another DIY for electric unicycle and gadget reviews uh, video and uh, this is for the 2011 Contagion movie cosplay headset. Uh, uh, this is um, upgraded from the previous one. Using uh, Previously, I used the tape to tape up the... This is my previous one. Um, I use tape to tape it up, but the tape is... Uh, getting a lot of dust and it start peeling off so I decided to use uh, hot glue uh, this type of hot, hot glue and uh, are able to stick up the plastic in such a way that it is airtight it's uh, more secure and will not peel off that easily and of course uh, remember this project you need to do it with uh, adult supervision because you might get suffocation if you do not put a airway. I've decided to use uh, this uh, washing machine hose for the water to come out to squeeze one hole over here. But this part I will squeeze half and just squeeze into a smaller hole. Okay one thing about um, the washing machine uh, drainage uh, is they have this groove at each round area. I think this is supposed to fit different size holes uh, slightly and it can simply cut a small hole according to the size of um, this bottom this particular bottom you can cut the size exactly and then squeeze this uh, end part right over here uh, and then once it reaches the last groove which is the, the first groove you can see it fit nicely to the groove very nice snug fit cool and the good thing about this elbow part is you can actually hang it downwards instead of sticking straight out um, the elbow really helps a lot as you can see it actually fits very nicely with uh, less leakage at the side Okay, now I'm, I'm trying to construct a way to blow the air into the hazmat uh, headgear by using the inflatable uh, costume fan. This one, make sure you buy those with a USB power uh, adapter so that you can plug in this and the air comes up from here. And it's actually pretty strong. So now what I'm going to do is uh, find a proper position and then mark up the position to cut uh, with uh, two of this fan. Let me see, two of this fan. Uh, because if you put it in different position, it's actually in a very bad position. If you If you cut wrongly, uh, you might not be able to fit the, this properly so what I'm going to do is uh, find the pro proper position to cut One of my suggestions to cut this uh, Tupperware, this plastic uh, Tupperware is to use something sharp to make a hole first and then use a strong scissors to cut the hole uh, but do not cut uh, too big because if it's too big, it might be a little bit, uh, uh, you know, it might leak the, the air out when you put in the fan. So be very careful. So this uh, measuring part is uh, very, very important. Uh, do not uh, measure co uh, incorrectly. Pen knife is definitely not recommended because it's not sharp enough. I use a pocket knife to make a hole and then use a strong scissors to cut. Uh, if you are unable to do it, find adult supervision. Uh, obviously, if you are uh, alone, don't do this alone because you might cut yourself and, you know, things happen. Be very, very careful. 
once you uh, put in the inflatable costume fan uh, just plug into the power bank and you automatically start on uh, unfortunately I do not have a switch for this so maybe in the future I might consider putting a switch on the outside but for now just simply plug in and you just run okay to carry this box I use a hook and loop or they call it velcro in the old days uh, this is to carry books in the old days uh, if you go to a bookstore or some uh, uh, what we we'll call that? Um, accessory shops. They might be able to get it. It's something like uh, Velcro, and um, you can actually tie it around a stack of books. I use it to uh, put some carabiner hot glue onto the Tupperware, and that's it. And after that, I use a sling bag. Um, they call it the 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 sling to uh, hold onto the carabiner, and using this uh, sling to carry the box itself. Uh, and of course, uh, I actually put a hole on the top cover as well, so that I can carry it uh, like that, uh, you know, very, very, very convenient. Uh, the hole, make sure you don't, uh, you know, cut too, too big, uh, otherwise the, the air will actually leak out. So, that's it. Okay, so basically, how the filtration system for this uh, battery-powered uh, in inflatable costume fan actually does is uh, using the fan power to suck in uh, the, the filter right over here to secure it it's best to use a tape to secure it so what I'm going to do now is to secure the surgical mask onto the fan make a hole and then just put it in so my power bank is fully charged I'm going to put it in And finally, it's very simple. Just uh, carry the box like a sling bag. Uh, you can also carry an uh, additional bag if you want to. Uh, this box, you can also carry other things if you want, like additional power banks for emergency. Uh, put over the head this uh, plastic hazmat uh, headgear and uh, plug in the, the what kind of washing machine uh, uh, tube. And you basically have a positive airflow from the top you push the air out to the bottom so that uh, you feel firstly not so hot secondly you got oxygen supply uh, filtered by the uh, the mask itself the surgical mask at the bottom um, and after that uh, as long as there's some positive airflow that means the the top pressure is higher than the pressure from the outside uh, the, the, the filtered air will be the priority inside the uh, this particular hazmat suit uh, you can opt to put uh, you know, put on additional surgical masks or uh, any other mask uh, inside this uh, hazmat suit if you want to uh, as a double protection. Well, basically that's it for this video and I hope you liked this video. Remember to do like, subscribe and of course uh, share to your friends if they need to do a DIY hazmat suit um, for cosplay. Yeah, for cosplay. <laughs> Thank you very much and see ya. Bye-bye.